Benidorm enthusiast here with Benidorm Stuff YouTube channel. We're at the port in the old town right now and for today's video we're going on an excursion. Yes, we're taking the boat trip to Calpe and you're coming with us. This trip is with Excursiones Maritimes, the same company that does trips to Benidorm Island and also Alicante and Tabaka Island. If you haven't seen our video on Benidorm Island, the link is in the description below. Make sure you check that out after this video. We'll probably also do Alicante and Tabaka in a future video, but for today, our chosen destination is Calpe. The tickets for this trip are 25 euros for adults, 17 euros for children. You can book them right here at the port or at the Little Hut at the Rincon end of Levante Beach, or you can book online. It's available on Wednesdays and Fridays at the moment. The boat leaves the port here at 11.30 in the morning. It gets you to Calpe around 12.30 and returning, the boat leaves Calpe at 4.30 and gets you back to Benidorm around 5.30. So there's going to be loads to show you on the boat round which takes about an hour. Obviously we'll see Benidorm from a different angle to normal. We'll see round the back of the Sierra Helada. We'll see Benidorm's second island which I'm sure not many of you actually know about. Then we'll travel around the coast of Albia and Altea, finally making way to our destination, Calpe. Yeah. From here you can really admire the awesome coastline that Benidorm boasts. Three kilometres of Poniente Beach, two kilometres of Levante Beach and of course the old town nestled in between with that fabulous viewpoint, the balcony to the Mediterranean or El Mirador. The boat heads off in the direction of Rincon de Lois. The impressive mountain range you see behind me is the Sierra Helada, almost 450 metres at its peak. That's the mountain range that joins Benidorm to Albia and it's also where the cross sits. And as we come around the sides of the Sierra Helada, you'll see two more of Benidorm's beautiful beaches. The first one, Cala Almadraba, is a small cosy cove the larger of the two and as we go around the corner we see Benidorm's smallest beach, Cala Teochimo. Both these beaches are open to nudists so don't be surprised if you see more than you bargained for on a visit. Benidorm is out of sight but just look at these cliffs pretty impressive eh you can also see Benidorm's second island Isla Michana it's much smaller than the most famous Isla de Benidorm or Peacock Island as it's also called just 30 meters at its peak this island many people don't even know it exists do you let us know in the comments This view 
new point behind me now is the Moro de Points. It kind of marks the end of Altea and the beginning of Calpe. I've been up there, the views are pretty impressive at over 200 metres above sea level. Maybe I'll take you there one day. On to the final stage of our journey now as we make our way into Calpe. Calpe is a town with a population of around 30,000. It's famous for its beaches, its fish restaurants and of course the iconic Peña de Ifaj, which we'll be taking you up shortly. 13 kilometres of coastline in Calpe with the Penyon jutting out of the ocean in the middle and surrounded by 14 small beaches and coves. And we have arrived. There's loads to see and do in Calpe. We won't be able to cover it all in this video or we'll miss the boat back. So we're just going to concentrate on this little area that surrounds the port and El Peñón. First of all, before we hit the heat of the day, we're going to take you a little way up El Peñón de Ifat. You can go all the way to the top, but I wouldn't recommend it at midday in the middle of August. But we're going to take you up high enough to give you a little taster of the incredible views it offers. It's a bit hot to be doing this, I have to admit. It must be bonkers. Things you do for a video. Just get a load of that view. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see right the way down the coast, one side of Calpe. And we're not even a quarter of the way up the route yet. This part of the route is suitable for all the family. There's a paved track halfway up the Peñón. Although I must admit, it's not one of my brightest ideas to do it today in 33 degree heat. A little bit further along, we're still not even halfway, but from this point you can see the other side of Calpe, one of the larger beaches, Playa de la Fossa, and also the coastline right the way around to Moraira. El Peñón de Ifach is a natural national park. It's a limestone chunk which emerges from the sea. The summit is almost 350 metres above sea level. There are over 300 species of birds and animals which call this their home. It was granted national park status in 1987 and with just 45 hectares, it's the smallest national park in Spain. There is a route right the way to the top of El Peñón for the more experienced hikers and climbers. And from the top on a clear day, you can even see the island of Ibiza. We're not even gonna attempt that today. It's far too hot. This is as far as we come. We're gonna make our way back down and show you up close my favorite beach in Calpe and also get some food at one of the fabulous seafood restaurants. Back down to earth now at my favourite of Calpe's numerous beaches, Cala El Raco. It's a small pebbly cove snuggled in between the port and El Peñón. It's a great snorkelling spot, you'll find plenty of action underwater here. And if you're into diving, there's an underwater trail with signal posts and informative signs about the animal and the sea life. The only underwater trail in the Valencia region. The restaurants here sell some of the freshest fish you'll find on the Costa Blanca. All sorts of different dishes and combination seafood platters are available. Just take a look at some of these. We managed to bag ourselves a table at Restaurante El Caro Uno. It does get very hectic round here 
here. It's extremely busy and extremely popular almost all year round. But don't let that put you off. It's all part of the fun. If you prefer to eat a little bit away from all that hustle and bustle, there are even more restaurants here at the end of that little crazy stretch, such as this one, Restaurante by Dal, where you can enjoy your meal in a slightly more relaxed atmosphere. Coming up to half four now, so I'm gonna get myself back on the boat and enjoy a nice leisurely ride back home to Benidorm. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, give it a like and click share for us and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok at the Benidorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.